March 18, Wednesday of the third week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of this list of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord Not to abolish, but to fulfill. Jesus makes a remarkable statement in the Gospel, which is part of his larger Sermon of the Mount. He tells his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. What is Jesus trying to teach us? The Jews believe they are following the religion if they rigorously live by the teachings of Moses, the lawgiver, and the prophets. So, are Christians to follow strictly all the details given in the Old Testament? Yes, the Ten Commandments remain valid for Christians. However, Jesus is asking us to live them with a deeper motivation, a purity of intention, and no sense of self-righteousness. As is often noted, we are to live the Spirit, not just the letter of the law. In addition, we are invited to believe that Jesus himself, in his person, is the complete fulfillment of God's law. He is the fullness of God's revelation. Indeed, Jesus himself, his actions, his attitudes, his service, his entire life is the new law we seek to imitate during the season of Lent and always.